On the calm afternoon of September 16, 2009, Anita Wheeler and her mother-in-law were having a beautiful day at the Knott's Berry Farm theme park. They were chatting as they looked at the majestic accelerator roller coaster, a one-of-the-kind thrill machine. They were simply mesmerized by its sheer size and immense height, not to mention the mad speed it produces to shoot the carriages. It was the luckiest day in their lives, not because they were merely visiting the awesome theme park, but because they did not get on a particular carriage that was about to be fired like a rocket into space by the powerful accelerator. The same cannot be said for Anita's husband and a child, Kyle. They were already strapped with the safety bars down in the carriage, ready to be fired at an immense speed to the top of the accelerator, about 205 feet off the ground. Seconds after the carriage left the start gate, a terrifying nightmare began to manifest as Anita and her mother-in-law watched helplessly from the ground. They screamed and yelled for help. They literally thought that they have just watched their most dear loved ones die horrifically right in front of their eyes. Stay tuned and watch till the end to see how this horror story ends. The mad, ultra-thrilling accelerator roller coaster is located in the boardwalk section of Knott's Berry Farm, which is a theme park in Buena Park, a city in beautiful Orange County, California. It was launched on June 22, 2002, and became a hit among masses from day one. It has a very solid structure made from reinforced steel. It was made by the Swiss manufacturer Intamin AG. As for the design, well, of course, this stunning leisure mean machine has to be by none other than the notorious god of roller coasters, the genius Werner Stengel, the famous German engineer behind many intriguing innovations in roller coaster design. He was the inventor of the first modern vertical looping coaster, Revolution, at Six Flags Magic Mountain. His clothoid loop is now standard on many roller coasters across the world. Thanks to him, today's roller coasters produce less intense forces on the human body and thus are safer and more fun to ride. But the fact remains, a poorly maintained roller coaster is a death machine, waiting to slice unsuspecting riders or throw them into the air and toward the ground from tens of hundreds of feet high, as if they were nothing but trash. The highest point of the accelerator is 205 feet, which is quite insane since that is almost as high as a 20-story building. It is also 671 meters long and can achieve the crazy speed of 82 miles per hour in merely 2.3 seconds. Even the exotic $4 million Bugatti Chiron Supersport can't do that. The accelerator is a very durable and tough machine that can handle pressure as long as it is well maintained on time. It has a very advanced, powerful and complex hydraulic motors launch system that makes it rise and drop more than 200 feet with great ease at an immense speed. It can also handle up to 1300 riders per hour because it has two trains and each can seat 20 riders. In fact, it was Intamin AG's first flagship hydraulically launched roller coaster, while also the fourth Intamin installation at the massive Knot theme park, alongside Sky Cabin, Calico River Rapids, and Perilous Plunge, which was removed in 2012. In 2002, the accelerator replaced the short-lived Windjammer surf racers, a disastrous roller coaster that was always plagued with issues surrounding its design and operation. The Knott's Berry Farm was happy to foot about $14 million for Accelerator, which was proven to be quite effective and lucrative. In May 2004, California investigators asked that Knott's Berry Farm temporarily close Accelerator because the T-bar restraint systems used were potentially defective. This was due to three incidents where people died after falling out of the restraints, including the Superman Ride of Steel roller coaster at Six Flags New England and in Springfield, Massachusetts. The ride was closed on June 2, 2004, so the necessary modifications could be made. Accelerator reopened at the end of the month. After an incident in 2009, the ride was closed while it underwent investigation. It reopened in April 2010. 
Accelerator was also closed in July 2017 for maintenance. The ride eventually reopened in March 2018. It closed near the end of October 2021 for a new coat of paint and is now operational. On September 16, 2009, 12-year-old Kyle Wheeler from Weaversville was super excited because he knew that this is the day that his father will take him along with the rest of the family to Knott's Berry Farm, an awesome world-class theme park that bursts with endless fun attractions and entertainment for all ages, including first-class roller coasters, stage shows, interactive experiences, delicious food creations, and family-friendly fun featuring Snoopy and the Peanuts Gang. From the moment he arrived at the park, his eyes were on the massive, super-high, amazing Accelerator roller coaster. Just looking at it made him feel awesome, and he could not wait to buy a ticket, grab a seat, and enjoy an experience that is equivalent to flying a fighter jet. Little did he know that a disastrous nightmare from hell is awaiting him. His father took him and left his mother and grandmother below to spectate in awe. They too were fascinated by the stunning ride, but preferred to watch from a distance as they also feared it. It just looked too dangerous for them. To his bad luck, Kyle Wheeler was sitting in the front row in the accelerator carriage when the roller coaster's launch cable suddenly and violently snapped and dangerously whipped towards the riders. It literally partially split the bottom section of the fiberglass carriage in half in a horizontal manner. If the cable was any higher, it would have severed not just Kyle's legs, but some of the other riders' too, and resulted in a bloodbath. Nevertheless, the severed cable lashed Kyle's left calf and sprayed debris in the face of his father, Russell, who was sitting next to him as Accelerator raced towards the coaster's trademark top hat element. His father began panicking and screaming for help, but it was too late, as the damage had already been done. Luckily, the ride's operator on the ground immediately noticed the screaming and realized that something has gone terribly wrong. He hit the emergency brakes, causing the ride to stop and begin slowly moving in reverse. The scene was horrific. Everyone panicked and feared that Kyle had lost his leg. People rushed to see what the whole fiasco was all about. The ambulance was already on the way and the on-site paramedics rushed to the scene with their first aid kits. To Kyle's luck, they knew what they were doing and managed to safely get him out of the ride without losing half of his leg. They stopped the bleeding and soon he was well on his way to the hospital. It was a day of terror, not just for Kyle and his family, but for everyone in the theme park. People began leaving in drones as the supervisors gave instructions for an emergency shutdown of the whole park. The joy and thrill simply became a horror story. The ride remained closed until the investigators did their job. However, until this very day, it is not clear whether the cable was overdue for a change or it was a manufacturer defect. The management at Knott's Berry Farm refused to be interviewed and instead released a statement stating that the cable on the accelerator ride is changed regularly and was last changed in December 2008. They also emphasized that, as per manufacturer instructions, it was good for one year and thus was not due to be changed until December 2009. As for Intamin, the accelerator's maker, they too issued a statement. They said more than 10 million people have ridden the accelerator at Knott's Berry Farm over the past eight years, and this is the first time something like this has happened. However, according to local journalists, this statement was disputable, because in 2004, four riders were injured when metal debris came off a launch cable on Intamin's Top Thrill Dragster roller coaster at Cedar Point Theme Park in Ohio, which is an identical but bigger version of the accelerator. Kyle underwent multiple surgeries to repair muscle damage to his leg and graft skin over his injuries. The operations were followed by physical therapy to restore function to his left knee and ankle. Moving from a wheelchair to crutches and then a knee brace, Kyle is now able to walk on his own and is doing just fine. An investigation by the California Division of Occupational Safety and Health found that the accelerator accidents could have been prevented 
with proper maintenance, casting blame on both the theme park and the ride manufacturer. Kyle's family reached an out-of-court settlement with the Knott's theme park for an undisclosed amount of money. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified every time we upload a new video that will take you to the heart of the scenes and mysteries of some of the most terrifying incidents, accidents, disasters and paranormal events from around the world.